Hey everyone, it's April here. Welcome to an art haul video, yay! I'm trying a new camera angle tonight, so I'm not sure this is going to work, but basically I zoomed the camera all the way in so it was just the, the bookshelf, and then I'm like a thousand miles away from the camera. Can you hear me? You're so far away. I don't know if I'm focused. The screen's about this small right now, it's so far away I can't see it. So let's just hope for the best, guys. Um, it is February the 1st. A Thursday I believe. Hopefully this video is going out tomorrow so happy 2nd of February if you're watching this tomorrow. Uh, we just completed Bradfest and I'm very tired <laughs> to be honest. I'm very tired. I'm a bit burnt out from January. It was such a busy month. I had a wedding, uh, I had Bradfest, I had like work, stuff at work, you know my day job, things like that. But uh, I just really wanted to sit down tonight and like play with all of my new materials that have been arriving over the last few days. I got some replacements, I got some new stuff, I just wanted to like play with different materials this year, lots of different stuff, get the most use out of like everything I have and treat myself a little bit. I didn't buy too much last year I don't think so I'm treating myself. Anyway, I did like a little unboxing on camera yesterday or like the day before from Jackson's and like a couple of more bits have arrived since then. I have them all in this lovely bag from Just Was Here. I love this bag so much and look there's a lot of materials in here so it's a very sturdy bag. Hashtag not sponsored. Shall we have a look what's in this bag? So we're on the desk now with my dirty piece of cardboard <laughs> that I should probably try and do something with, that's something fun with but these are the first things I got, some sketchbooks. I got the Pith sketchbooks, they're both A4. This one is blue, but in some lights it looks purple. This one is orange. And I got a couple, they were on sale, they were half price, so I got two for one basically. And I have used this before. I used it all of January actually. I had this lovely green one, which is very dirty now. But I didn't get much use out of it. Like I, I did use every page, but I only tested paint pens, a little bit of pencil, and then most of this was Burb Fest, which is all of this, and it's just markers, it's Ecoline markers and pencil. So I feel like I haven't really tested the paper enough. I want to put ink on there, I want to put paint, lots of layers, see how the paper fares. I think it's gonna do really well because this paper is so lovely and thick. So I'm going to use the orange one I think first and this is what we'll test all of our materials on which should be fun. So this is the sketchbook. It lays completely flat every page. Lays completely flat. The paper is kind of off-white I guess and it's very smooth. It's really nice material actually. And now let's see what's in the bag. I kind of don't want to tip it up, just in case. So this is everything in the bag. Amazing. I guess we'll just tip it up. I know there's some inks in here, that's what I'm worried about. Right. I just organized this quickly. I just moved the camera up so that you can see a little bit better. Um, the first thing I got was this granite rose pastel. And it's just a replacement. I have this box uh, where I keep my pastels. So like this. Um, it's not the best storage for them, I don't think. I normally just take the, the drawers out when I'm drawing and put them kind of on the desk like this. It's not the best. I really need a proper solution for storage. But I found this box in the charity shop a while ago, a few months ago, and I just thought it was so lovely. So I had to get it. It was like £5. I mean, bargain. I'm just going to write the date in here so I don't forget. So it's the second... Oh, the first of Feb. That's so nice. I forgot what number we are at. Mm, I think... This was my last sketchbook, so I should have the number in. 53! Okay, so we're on 54. My sketchbook numbering system isn't perfect. I have some like halves, like I have like 12 and a half and 15 and a half when I did the numbers wrong, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's not really important. 
to know how many numbers I have. I think I dislike it because it's an easier kind of a way to know where I, like when I started it, if that makes sense. Like they kind of go in order, but not really because some sketchbooks take a month and some sketchbooks take two years to finish. All right, so the 1st of Feb, 2024. And let's look at the pencils first. So these are all replacements, guys, of pencils that I have. So really nothing exciting. So I have an olive brown 10%. A sepia 50, Indra Thracorvin, in, uh, how do you say that? Indanthroquin, Indanthronine blue, oh, I don't know. Um, ultramarine pink, permanent red, genuine cobalt blue, light cobalt blue. And then in the Faber-Castell I have this amazing, like, lime green highlighter pencil, Cadmium Yellow Lemon. It's such a nice colour. And the pencil that I was most concerned about getting was this one here, this blue one. Because I had this tiny, tiny, tiny pencil. Let's see if I can find it. It's the smallest pencil I have. This one here. I have had this one for ages. It was my favourite blue pencil. And I thought I had ordered it. I thought it was Prussian blue, but it wasn't Prussian blue. So this is a test to see if I got the right colour. Because it, it sharpened so much that I lost the, the name. So this is going to be, this is going to be the test. So it's kind of like a really dark blue, but it wasn't too blue. I think I got the right one. That's the same colour, isn't it? Oh, amazing. Amazing. Okay, cool. So it's number 649. So I have this swatches box. I think I showed this on my last one. I really need to do something with these swatches because I just kind of keep them in the box. It is a little bit easier than having everything in a, in a sketchbook because at least I can open the box and have a look. Um, if I go to one of the biggest <laughs> envelopes, it'll have my my luminous Karen Dash in. And hopefully I have some spare paper because I cut a whole bunch out a while ago. And this is one swatch I don't have, which is how I couldn't find it. So I can just swatch this out quickly. these cards just because it takes ages so I'll probably just do that myself watch Netflix and chill that's what the kids say right watch Netflix and chill that means make swatches of your art materials right so I've basically been using popping my pencils in these different tubs so this is my big one for the big boys then this is like medium then this is small and this is teeny teeny tiny and then I also have another box I have this other tub on my bookshelf which has replacements in so I just put those in and most of these pencils that I got that were replacements are this small like this one here this one so when these get really small and I can't use them anymore then I'll use um, I'll switch, switch them out and that's basically my system so it's not the best system because it's really difficult to find the colours you want because you have to kind of like go to each part and look in them but it's not too bad it's not too bad next up are some paint replacements I would think I was talking about these on stream the other day and I was saying how these two colours how they're basically run out now which is really sad and I was like, oh, I wonder if I can get replacements for them. When I was in Jackson's, I remembered, which surprises me, but I remember to look, and you can get replacements of them. So this one here is number 61. It's like a cobalt blue, I guess. The, the names are somewhere, somewhere in the universe, but I'm not sure where to find them. And then this one is just white. While I was on Jackson's, I only got these two because they were basically completely dead. But I'm sure in the next few months, maybe like six months down the road, I'll probably have to replace like the jade. Well, oh, this dark blue, which is number 67. This is my favorite dark blue. Um, maybe a yellow because I, and maybe this brown actually. I use these quite a lot. You can you can really see what what paints I use the most. I love these paints. They're so nice. I did. Um, I did all of Bird Fest with these paints for the birds. I did it last year too, actually. They're probably my favourite paint set after Holbein acrylic wash. 
And then these two little pots here, I'll probably try and get most of this paint out, just on some sketchbook pages. And then maybe I can keep these and fill them up with something, like some other gouache or something. I don't know, if you have replacements, tell me what you do with your empty pots. All right, let's swatch some stuff now. Because uh, we've just been looking at stuff, but we haven't actually swatched anything yet. So we're going to move on to the biggest purchase that I made, which is all of these brush pens. Um, I did not mean to buy this many. I I think I just went a little bit kind of a little bit wild, and <laughs> I got so many because I have been using these all of January. I have this pot here, so I can't fit, I can't fit any more in this pot, realistically. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to store them. But I have all of these and I have been using for the entirety of Burb Fest and before that, I love sketching with these. And I've found that there's a few colors that I really wanted, but I just didn't have like a really nice red, um, like a really, basically red. I just basically just needed to get this one. But while I was on there, I got a bunch more. So, uh, yeah, let's swatch them. I haven't swatched these yet. So I'm going to swatch all the new colours. I'm not going to worry about the old colours. And then when, maybe like a bit later, I'll do the swatches for my box just so I have them. I just got to find them. I, I think I, I'm sure I've swatched them. Here we go. Ecoline brush pens. And these have faded. Uh, you know what? I was actually watching a YouTube video today about um, inks. Just I was just searching for like ink videos. I've just been really into inks lately. And I found a video for the Ecoline inks, which is what are used in these brushes, um, in, these, in these bottles here. And apparently they're not light fast, so they fade if you put them out. Like these have just been in a box. But this is fur green. I really hope I didn't, I don't think I bought replacement, I don't think I bought like doubles. Okay, this is fur green, so let's just do a little test. Oh my god guys, it's literally the same colour. Oh, no it is the same colour, that's why. <laughs> okay, so that's fresh off the pot, it's fresh off the, the ink, and this has been sitting in my box for probably five months, so it is a little bit less. Also, it could be the paper. This is like very absorbent paper. Actually, let's try that. Okay, so this, I'm just curious now. This isn't even part of the thing. Okay, maybe that's a better test. So, brand new and then sitting in the pot for like six months. I'm going to stop the video and swatch all of these out first. These are the Ecoline brush pens I already have. And now we're going to add brush pens that I bought excessively probably <laughs> um but yeah we're just gonna use them and let's just see what other colors we have so i'll i'm not gonna go through all of these because they're old but i'll tell you all the new ones i got so this one is bluish green and i mean it's basically this color isn't it i i honestly don't think you need to have multiples of the same color but there you go this one's 640 and this one's 645 so, okay, this one here is deep green. I think I was just on like a spending spree. I just, I just wanted to go on a spending spree. This is 665, very similar to this one I think it's gonna be. Oh, no, it's a bit brighter. Okay, I like that. Then we have deep yellow. I'm not, I'm, I'm alternating between the numbers and the colors, aren't I? Okay, this is, this green was spring green. This is deep yellow which is such a nice colour, kind of like a golden yellow. Can you tell I'm not doing this in any order either? This one is deep grey. So I don't have a nice dark grey yet, so that would be nice. And then I got some colours that I probably don't know if I'm going to use. Like I got this green, but I'll tell you why I got them, okay? I didn't get them because I was like, oh, I probably won't use that, but I'll get it anyway. I got them because ages ago like years ago i got these this eco line set and it has all the primaries in it which i'm literally never gonna i'm never gonna use i mean i may use them i'm gonna try and use them that's what this year's for but i have blue green red black 
and I figured, hey, why don't I just get the pen to match and then that way I can have both, I can use both. So there's some colours in here that I wasn't going to get but I got just so I could use them with the, the ink. Like this one I think, Sky Blue, which is very similar to this blue. One could almost say I brought the same colour. That one's Ultramarine Blue though. They, they tell you they're different but honestly, I don't think they are. That was Sky Blue Light. So this is Sky Blue, this is Sky Blue Light. I like Sky Blue Light a little bit better. <laughs> it's a bit lighter, imagine that. Okay, um, sepia. I'm gonna like this one, I can tell. Look how dark that is. Okay, this one is Scarlet. Really the only, only pen I needed to buy. Like this is the only color that I was missing, was a red. Then we got some more pinks, magenta. I'm going through a bit of a pink phase right now. And these pinks are so nice. This fuchsia one, oh, it's kind of like on the purple side. That's nice. Then we have light rose. Okay, light rose is my favorite. Light rose is my favorite. This one is ultramarine deep. See, I just, I basically just wanted to get all the blues, even though they look the same. One, two, three, four. Can you tell the difference? This one is warm grey. Look, I'm sacrificing, I'm sacrificing my time, my energy, my money for you. So you know that you only need one of these four blues. <laughs> I, I'm just going over like how ridiculous it is that I bought so many pens. Okay, this is sand yellow, but we're gonna have our hobbies, right? Okay, this is a nice yellow. This is a little bit brighter than this one. This is lemon yellow. So this is one of the inks that I have that I bought the pen for. Same with this, the black. Oh God, we got a purple. Why did I buy purple? Ultramarine violet. I think honestly I was having some kind of stroke this day. Gotta have a purple though. I am coming around to it. And then lastly, oh, a green. Oh, I like that green. That's my favorite green so far. That one's bronze green. So those are all the inks, um, ink, ink brush pens. There's a lot of them. Guys, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. There's 46 colors. I'm just gonna find out how many brush pens Ecoline makes. Does Ecoline brush pens come in 59 vivid transparent colors? So 59, and how many did I say I had? 46. So I'm 13 away from having the entire set. So that's fun, that's fun. Um, I have this little bluebird cup that I thought maybe I could put the ecoline pens in there, but they're not gonna fit. Okay, I'll save that for something else. And for these, I guess, I'll have to just find another home for them. On the ecoline kick that we're currently on, I also got three inks for the three colours that have run out on my pens now i went i bought two of these pens i think this is my i brought like two or three of this this um 666 brush pen before i found out that they were refillable i never knew that when i found out they were refillable i started buying the inks when i run out and i'll just i'll tell you something in a second so this is i just want to show you the colors that i got so there's like the pale yellow, um, pastel yellow, there's beige, and then there's pear, pastel violet, which I actually use quite a lot, even though I say I don't like purple. I use this one a lot, especially for like shadows and things, it's really nice. But I wanted to just say that even though I'm buying these inks to like refill the pens, I'm not gonna buy all of them. Like I'm not gonna have 50 inks because as you can tell, a lot of these colors are the same. Like literally this color like oh my pen just broke in half that's awkward look at that i just like snapped my pen um okay this color this color this this you could even say this like they're all slightly different but literally they're the same blue like these two blues you can't even tell them apart so i won't be buying a replacements for all of these blues i'll just like pick my favorite which is probably going to be like i don't know one of these three and then just get inks for that uh same with the greens there's like this green this green this green this green this green 
the screen <laughs> they, they're kind of all similar so I'll probably just get inks for a couple of them like definitely this one when it runs out um, ones that I use a lot like I use like the, the pinks the peaches a lot the beige a lot I use the dark blues and some of the like red the burgundies so yeah I'm, I don't have room not only do I not have money but I don't have room to collect all of these inks and while we've got these out let's do a little test to kind of see the difference between the ink straight from the pot and then the ink from the pen I think that'd be kind of fun let's do it with this color no not that one let's do it with this one here which is beige so pink beige so this is the pink beige it's still quite juicy but I use it a lot so I figured I'd get it while it was while I was on Jackson's and then this here is the ink which you can probably pop into a little well you know like a mixing well or straight on to the paper if you feel and like it and I also want to show you this paintbrush I got we can use this paintbrush so this is the angle shader from De La Rowney system 3 angle shader and actually I wasn't in the market for a paintbrush my friend RT I told her I was on Jackson's getting some some stuff and she said to try this brush and I have never tried an angle brush before I'm just gonna see if this paint has gone through it has okay so the ink's gone through but I did that it I was sitting there for about 30 seconds so that's not the paint's problem let's just try this again we won't leave it this time so this is a very um, light ink a lot of these inks are quite light actually but I can use a darker ink to show you this one is 533 and it, it looks like this paper isn't going to be the best for for like liquid stuff it does feel quite I don't know like it like it's like I can feel the, the paper buckling it is 300 GSM I believe okay it's 200 GSM so it is not not the thickest it's not like watercolor paper at all I'm not sure how it's gonna fare with wet media actually because look at that it's come come through quite a bit there let's just do this let's pop it in here it's a bit dirty but I just want to see what this brush is like with like different marks because I love a big chunky brush to get really nice shapes and actually this is so nice normally I just use the fill bit which is kind of like the round one you know it's like it's like this shape but it is nice to have a nice square brush and get some thin lines like this It'll be good for calligraphy. I mean, I'm not a calligrapher. That's an that's an A. <laughs> I'm not a calligrapher. Um, but yeah, I mean, I literally wreck my brushes, so it won't last long. It'll be like this for maybe a month, and then all all the, the it'll just be like this, it'll be like like that. Come back in a month. Set your alarms. Come back in a month. Okay, let's see what we're working with next. I'm just going to use this page because this one's still a bit wet. It's going to be very interesting using this sketchbook actually with all the different media. I don't think it's going to be as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be amazing because I just really like the sketchbook, but I actually, I actually think it's going to be like not not the best. Next up, I have something a little bit different. I found these online. I can't remember where. I don't know if it was on social media or on YouTube video. I just remember seeing them and thinking they looked really cool. So they're called Grog Squeezer, Grog Mini Squeezer, 20 FMP. I don't know what FMP means, but yeah. They're kind of like a paint pen, but they have this top, which is a sponge. It's kind of like a sponge. So I think, I don't know quite know how to use it. Okay, you just press. Okay, look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? Oh, I probably don't want to shake it with the lid off. But it's, I, these are used, I think, a lot for graffiti. Um, and I just thought they looked kind of cool. Like, they have a really nice feel. Um, 
not like the other, you know, the, sometimes the paint pens like Molotow or Liquitex, they have that like hard nib and sometimes it squeaks and it feels not very nice, but this feels so soft. Round tip, high flow, squeezable marker. And I think the point is when you're doing like graffiti and stuff, you put it on the wall and as you squeeze in it, like it drips. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, so if I was like gonna, oh, that's so cool. So if I was like doing graffiti and then <laughs> it would like drip out, I guess. That's so fun. Oh my gosh, and I got neon pink. It's my, like the best color. So I'm obviously not gonna do graffiti with it. Shocker, but I just really like, they just, they just look fun. Like they just look kind of like you'd have a lot of fun with them and they would give you a lot of joy. This one is gold. I'm a bit concerned about this one. It has some gold flecks at the bottom here. So, and I think afterwards, maybe you could even put your own paint in. So this is gold. I actually was hoping it wasn't gonna be gold. I was hoping it was gonna be kind of like ochre color, but it actually is gold, which is fine. We can, we can work with it. Maybe you can mix it in. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Gee whiz. That's fun. Did I just say gee whiz? Who am I? So I think this is going to be really fun for filling in shapes. Oh, this pink. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. Yeah, I think this, these are going to be so fun to play with. You can like make little dots as well. We could have so much fun with them. I don't think, I don't know, like I don't, I was gonna say, I don't think it's for serious art, but I think you could obviously definitely use it for serious art. I don't really think anything I do is serious though, but these are gonna be fun. These are gonna be fun. There's some more colors that I really wanted, but they were out of stock. There was one called Miami Green, which was like a pale version of the dark green. Um, there were some other neons. Um, this gold though, not sure about this gold. Maybe I just need to shake it more. Yeah, those were the grog squeezers. I think they're going to be so fun to play with. Oh, they do smell though. They do smell. Refill with full metal paint. So I think you can actually get refills for this specifically. So I'm not sure if you can fill it just with your like regular paint because I might clog up the sponge part. Um, yeah, we'll give them a go. We'll see how long that's going to take to dry because honestly I think we're going to be here all night if we wait for that to dry. So I'm going to flip the book around like this. We can look at the last things, which are these pens. So I actually got these pens. It was peer pressure. Um, Artie, Artie again, she, she's always peer pressured me into buying things. I got these paintbrushes because she mentioned them. And I had a look at mine, they look really nice. They just came today. Their website, the website I got it from was very uh, out of stock. But apparently these are meant to be like the most amazing markers, marker pens. They are opaque, permanent ink, color burst effect. Don't know what that means. Water-based, non-toxic, suitable for most services, flexible brush tip. And apparently you don't have to shake them like a Posca pen or something. So this is a curry. That's a curry flavor. I mean, you don't eat it. I wouldn't recommend that. But that's a curry <laughs> color. I got, I got a lot of warm colours. I kind of got like the warmer tones. This one is sulphur yellow. Oh, look at this, so nice. And yeah, it is very, um, the, the nib is really nice. It's like really soft. Okay, this flavour is copper brown. And if I do like a close up, you can kind of see the brush is kind of, it's like very spongy. And the paint does come out and it's very juicy. And you can get kind of thin lines if you go really lightly. And if we go really fast, get some nice texture there. Mag magenta, I always want to say magnenta, but that's not right, is it? Magenta, oh, I wonder if these mix together. They kind of go like go over the top of each other. I'm not sure how I feel about the brush pens themselves. I think I'm used to a very firm tip from using like the, the big paint paint pens. This one's pastel orange. 
That's a nice color. And then lastly, we have gold, which is going to be a little bit different than the gold from the other ones. And look how juicy that is. And they kind of get over each other really nicely. So I'm not sure how much I'll use these. I don't know how many I'll buy. Because the thing is, they're very small. Um, small nib. I'm used to like a very large surface. I don't really like to... I guess these would be nice for like detail maybe. Not that I really do much stuff with detail. But I just really wanted to try them out after Artie was talking about them. They just sounded really cool. And I got 10% off too. So it wasn't too bad. And um, yeah, so that's basically my entire haul, guys. A lot of inks, a lot of inks, uh, some paints, and yeah, that's basically it. Like, just like inktastic. I just wonder if you can, like, paint with this too. Oh no, do you think I'll wreck my paintbrush? Oh no, I've just wrecked my paintbrush. Remember when I said come back in a week? I don't think this paint is meant for paintbrushes, guys. I think it's like actually graffiti paint, you know? That's why it smells so bad. <laughs> I don't think it's water-based. Oh no. Okay, well, uh, I've kind of wrecked the paintbrush, but it's fine, it's fine. It's broken in now, so that's good. One thing I will say about these grogs is I would open the window and use them or use them outside because um, they are smelly. And after just wrecking my paintbrush just now, um, I don't think they, they're meant to be for used in a sketchbook, but I'm going to use them in my sketchbook. I think they'll be fun still to use and they got really nice color. So I think we're going to stop the video there. I'm a bit tired to like draw anything tonight. I just kind of wanted to show you all of the materials I got just because I was excited to swatch them and see what colors I had and I can remember what I bought and everything. So it's going to be a, a short video, just like a little haul video, but I hope that you enjoyed seeing like the different materials. Let me know. If there's anything you kind of want to see me like try or if draw or something or I'm in a little bit of like limbo right now I just drew birds for the entirety of January and then before that I had a bit of a break from drawing I can't remember even remember what I drew like in December or if I drew anything or November um, and then October I was in South Africa for my holiday so like for three months before January I can't even remember what I drew <laughs> if I did anything and I feel like I just I don't even know what I'm drawing anymore like I don't know what I'm doing I don't know what I want to do I don't know what I feel like I feel like I just kind of need to like completely reset and just go back to playing again rather than I'm not going to do any challenges probably until September now when I do the draw drawing draw your prompts which I really want to do again but um I just kind of like feel like I just need to get back to playing again get back to my sketchbook get to back to bigger like bigger paintings and things and just kind of like look at all of my materials kind of figure out what I'm doing <laughs> because I I don't feel like I have a like a much of a purpose right now I'm just I, don't, I feel like without a challenge or without prompts I just kind of am floating and I don't just want to float I don't want to kind of like have a focus so yeah I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do <laughs> sorry my hair's so my hair's so poofy today. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just want to have a play. Um, so this is gonna be a short video, but I'm gonna explain that in my in my February vlog. I want to get back to doing monthly vlogs. So keeping out for that at the end of the month. Also keeping out for Burb Fest. Hopefully next week a video all about Burb Fest and the challenge. And that's all for me today. If you have any suggestions on things that you think I'd like to draw, let me know. Or like how to find your focus again. Maybe I'll do a video on that yeah okay I don't know I need I need to go now because it's pretty late and I'm pretty tired so that's all for me have a lovely rest of your day and your week and I will catch you in the next video thanks for watching bye